Hello, sweet souls. So this reading is going to be a full-length YouTube reading. Um, go under Tasha's Divine Guidance and you can watch it. Oh, I got some crazy hair. This is for Virgo. This is a Virgo reading, guys. So you guys came out with the very first card, the High Priestess. That's you, Virgo, listening to your intuition. And what's really interesting is you're stepping into your Emperor energy. This is, um, you know, believing in yourself taking control over your own life. And this is bringing in financial abundance for you, okay? Which is pretty awesome. And you are coming out as the Empress. You know, she's the embodiment of all the queens, uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So you guys have become very empowered. This is good karma that you have, that you're receiving. And this comes after the horrible time in your life where you, you were um, in a relationship with someone that was very deceptive. You know, you... There was nothing but deception around you and you decided, you know what, I'm I'm picking up my swords and I'm getting out. Um, this caused you great heartbreak, okay? Uh, but you do have someone that's coming in. This person is honest and loyal. They will come and give you this offer. It could be an apology too um, or a small offer. They are your soulmate. It's a wish fulfillment. They're coming out as the king of cups. Um, this is someone that will give emotion. They're very loving and kind. They're ready to work on this relationship they want to build with you. Um, they're also coming out as the King of Pentacles. This is a very stable and grounded person. So not only are they stable and grounded and financially secure, but they're emotionally um, mature, emotionally available to you, okay? Uh, this is after you had to go in and do some serious healing. Um, you know, this is the Hermit, you too, Virgo. This is also uh, your card. And this was healing from a toxic relationship. You know, after this healing that you've done, and it was very difficult, you know, that's that's when you have this divine stepping in and saying, look, we're going to give you the love that you deserve, the love that you've always wanted. And it's an overabundance of love, real divine love that brings you complete happiness. This is wish fulfillment. And you guys deserve it, Virgo. You really do. Um, you're finally learning that you need to release and let go of the past. Um you're coming out as the wounded warrior because it was devastating for you to give all of yourself and to have someone just deceive you and throw you away as if you were nothing. But you're figuring out, look, this is something that wasn't meant for me and I'm, I'm ready to release it. Learn what I needed to learn and just let it go and let it be um, the lesson that it, that it was. So you are learning to um, stay on your own two feet, turn your back on things that don't serve you, Release the pain of the past and focusing only on your own passions and what makes you happy. Um, really focusing on your own financial security. You're letting the lies and deceit of other people end. They're not. It's not affecting you anymore. You don't care who they lie to or what manipulation comes out of their mouth. It doesn't matter. You're, you're putting an end to it. They have no control over you anymore, Virgo. None. You know, the person that's coming into your life they're also very passionate. This is another king. This is the th three kings now that has come out for this person that's coming into your life. This is definitely a fated union. Um, they're very passionate for you. They're, this can also mean um, they're very spiritual as well. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. They do. They watch you. They watch you. They know that you're their, their divine counterpart. They see you as the world. And they are manifesting um, this positive forward movement coming to you um, to have this new beginning, okay? They, they're they really manifesting this because they see who you are to them and it's like they can't live without you. They know your worth, they know your value, and they don't want anyone else to have you. Um, they are your twin flame or soulmate. You know, they have regret because in the past they didn't accept. Um, they didn't accept what you were offering Maybe because it wasn't the right time for whatever reason, they didn't accept it. And, you know, they were surrounded by a lot of conflict. Now they have internal conflict because of the regret. Um, you know, they don't want it to be over. They want victory. You will receive communication from this person saying they know that they want to give equally to this relationship now. You know, they want there to be peace and uh, calm in your relationship. They want it to work. And um, they see you as very beautiful, very beautiful Virgo. Um, independent, following your own dreams and passions, and very, very beautiful, which is amazing. You know, they have been trapped in their head, you know, for a while. They've been uh, really trapped and reliving things um, shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's what I hear. Like, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. I wish I wouldn't have done this or that. But they're coming out of this energy because it's followed by the wheel of fortune. So they are, like I said, this is a faded 
divine union. So they're starting to understand and also get the push from the universe. Look, you have to take action. Unless you want to lose it, this opportunity, you are going to have to take action. So they're ready to take this leap of faith toward their happiness, which is you. Um, you know, the divine has stepped in because this person has been wounded and you have been wounded. Um, so this is the Ten of Swords. Like I always say, this is the worst pain of your life. This is someone that you loved that stabbed you over and over and over again. They didn't care how bad they hurt you. But this is the divine stepping in to give healing, to give healing from the past. So, you know, they can move forward and uh, bring this offer to you. Now, now this person knows, Virgo, that you've got many options. They know you are not, um, you know, dateless, lonely, lack suitors. They know you don't lack suitors. So that's what's really inspiring them to come forward and give you this stable offer. They do see a commitment moving forward with you. They see marriage with you. Um, but they've been so in their head and so filled with anxiety and stress about when if she rejects me or he rejects me that it's preventing them from moving forward. But they're, they're going to overcome that. So don't worry because they see you as their complete happiness. No one else will fulfill them or bring in that type of stability and love and union that you will for them and they know it um so yeah they're finally learning you know in order for them to have balance in their life and a balance in a relationship they have to love themselves there has to be you know equal um equal love for yourself equal love for another there has to be equal and they're starting to learn that that love starts with themselves um, this is the reunion card, celebration, coming back together. So this is someone from the past. They want this passionate new beginning. And like I said, they are going to be rushing in. And they're going to tell you, look, I want to fight for this relationship now. I have my cup of love. I want to offer to you. And I'm willing to fight to prove to you that I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. Because I do see you as my divine counterpart. They see you as this lady of luxury, the nine of pentacles or man of luxury. Being strong and independent and not needing anyone. And that is very um, alluring to this person. Um, they want to come forward and speak truth because this has been a burden on them. It's been a burden because, um, you know, they feel like they've lied and kept secrets. And they, they want to get it off their shoulder because it's a weight. It's a burden. And they want to tell you everything. They're seeing for everything from a different perspective. And, you know, it's because they had a tower moment. You know, they had a reality check. Everything in their life was shaken up. And that the divine stepped in and said, look, this is the truth you need to know. This is the action you need to take that will bring balance into your life. Yes, she's guarded. Yes, she will cut you out if you don't come correct. But, Virgo, this person wants to come correct. They want to give you a stable offer. They're trying to have strength to walk away from things in the past that they know were toxic and not good for them. Um, it's going to bring justice into their life and to yours, Virgo. It, the scales will be balanced. It will be as it should be. Um, you know, I feel like in the past, they they ghosted you. You It was like a false start, but they ghosted you. But now they realize you are their wish fulfillment, and they've made the decision. They want to come forward and give you this passionate offer because they know you are their soulmate. Um, and they're finally following their passion, which is leading them to you, the divine counterpart you've lived many li lives with. They see you as a very intuitive, loving, nurturing being. And they see you as grounded, stable, and financially secure all on your own. So like I said, you know, you don't need them to fix you and they know that. You fixed yourself, Virgo. You healed and you fixed yourself. And that's why the divine is stepping in and pushing this person to go toward their divine counterpart, which is you. So don't wait. Don't wonder. You just live your life. Be in your amazing empress self or emperor, whichever, if you're male or female. Um, and just know, it's coming in divine timing. It's a fated union. This person cannot live without you. They can't. They, they tried, but the divine gave them a wake-up call, and they can't live without you. Okay, guys, I love you. If you want a private reading, you can text me, 859-307-1381. Um, so I will uh, give you the information. I hope you have a great Friday. Thanks. Bye.